in this video, we're going to be taking a look at a static equilibrium problem involving torque, where all of these things are balanced on a mobile. Now, what we want to focus on is uh, a few smaller steps to get to the ultimate goal of finding an unknown mass, m1, m2, and then the distance, unknown distance up at the top here. So we're going to be using this formula over here, torque equals force times the lever arm. And when we do that, we just want to make sure the torque is equivalent on both sides of our, our pivot points so that everything is in static equilibrium and everything is all balanced out. So basically saying that the torque on one side of our pivot point is equal to the torque on the other side. Now, if we want to find what's going on with the torque of each one of these, technically it would be mg times your r because mg is the force being applied and that would equal the mg times r on the other side. Now, because everything has that g value in it, we could just go ahead and drop that g and then we could just leave our mass value. Other thing is this, although mass is typically in kilograms and the r, the lever arm, is basically um, is usually in meters, um, we can keep them in different units as long as both sides have the same unit. So for example, if we're going to use centimeters on one side, we can use centimeters on the other side. And if we're going to use grams on one side, we're going to use grams on the other side as well. And that's fine because everything all matches up. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So let's first take a look at the section over here. So let's work our way from the bottom up. Now, here's our pivot point right here. We have two lever arms and we have two different masses. One of them is an unknown. So all we have to do is set up our M times R on one side of the formula and then set up our M times R on the other side of the formula and go ahead and find that unknown M. All right, so it was a pretty simple calculation. We just had to find the product of the 20 and 17, divide both sides by 22. And then we got an unknown mass of 15.45 grams for our little chipmunk over here. Now, um, both of these two combined have a mass of 35.45 grams. So I'm just gonna take the 20 and then add that to our answer over here. And that means we have a total of 35.45 grams of force or mass tugging on that certain part over there. Now we're going to do a second problem where we're going to take a look at this unknown M2 connected to our new 35.45 gram section. And then we're going to set it up just like we did here in red and see what we get for the unknown mass of the pig. All right, so we found the unknown mass of the pig. It is 21.23 grams. And now we're almost done. We're gonna work our way up one more step. Now we have this final portion over here that is also in equilibrium. And again, from this specific point over here, if we add up our two green values, our 21.27 and our 35.45, we get 56. 0.72 grams in this entire section over here. So we have the mass and then the R value over here, and we have the mass of the chick and an unknown distance or R value over there. So we just have one unknown, so we can go ahead and set that up just like the red and green setups over here and see what we get for that unknown distance. So we have an 
R value of 20.02 centimeters as our lever arm, which was our final unknown, finding that distance from our uh, pivot point up here to where the chick is hanging. So how these problems work, um, as I said, it's a fairly simple idea. You want to make sure the torque on each side of a certain pivot point are equivalent to each other. Um, a lot of times you don't actually have to even plug in the force, just like we did over here. We have mg and the g's cancel out. So you could actually just go ahead and take the mass. You don't have to include the g value. Um, either way, you take the mass times the distance from the pivot point, which is our r value or our lever arm, and then you set those two equal to each other. And a good method would be to start from the bottom, just like we did here in red, and then work your way up to the green and then the blue and then so on. Um, but I hope that was helpful in helping you understand torque in a static equilibrium problem. Thank you for watching and listening.